Good morning, trucking junkies. We're in Houston. Found a little bit of rain. Found a little bit of traffic. But not much. On both. That's always a good thing. Uh, not sure where we're going to go after this. We'll get dropped off here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. If I had to guess, we're probably going to go get one of two things. We're going to go back down to, to uh, go on down to Vidor and pick up some more slinkies. Or go over to Home Depot and pick up some Home Depot freight. But then again, I have gone down to the port, picked up stuff down at the port of Houston, so I guess we got about three things we can pick up. We'll find out, though. And stay tuned, I got a random fact about Houston. Given the idea to do uh, random facts on some of the cities I go into. So I got you. I got you. And if you didn't watch my video yesterday all the way to the end, you missed out. You need to go back and watch. Some funny stuff happening at the end of that video. Anyway, let's go get unloaded. Now we're here, and there's like 10 other uh, Maverick trucks here. So they're all been unloaded. I got one in front of me that's going to get unloaded. I'm going to go ahead and take my straps off and get up there where he's parked when he's done. We're unloaded. We're playing the waiting game at the moment. There's another, <clears throat> there's another Maverick truck in front of me. I'm, my position is number five on the board. Uh, load short in the area of 16, drivers empty in the area of four. <laughs> uh, so you never know, we may be here for a while, we may not. There's a truck stop down the road. Uh, if this place starts to get full, I'll move down there. But as of right now, I'm just sitting. So, uh, <clears throat> I'll let you know here when we find out. We're on our way. We got a load. And it is not picking up in Houston. And it is not picking up in Vidor. We are picking up in Shreveport. 250 miles away. And that's going to Iowa. So yay, some kind of coils, thanks man, appreciate you, uh, some kind of coils, uh, they're probably on pallets if I had to guess, since I got a message saying that I needed to use a board to keep the water off the pallet, off the top of the coils, which is commonplace, alright let's go guy should have backed up a little further but whatever at least out of the gate yup so we've taken our break there so we've got plenty of time to get there we got to be there by four shows we'll be there at about a quarter to three at the moment Maybe they'll take me early. I got two days to get it up there, though. Well, it's it doesn't it doesn't have to be there till the till the tenth, between seven and uh, fifteen thirty. Wow! Let's move it on over. Let's get down the road. Let's go. We're about to hit uh, uh, Sam Houston Tollway. So before we leave Houston, let's do the random fact of the day. Jingle! So the word Houston was the first word said from the moon's surface. Also, 
Houston is home to the world's largest medical complex. Yeah. Jingle! So before we leave Houston, let's do the random fact of the day. Jingle! It's the random fact of the day. The first word spoken on the surface of the moon was the word Houston. Houston is also home to the world's largest medical complex. Uh-huh. And it also has the world's tallest five-sided building. I bet you didn't know that. Yeah, buddy. One more fun fact. The Astrodome was the world's first domed sports complex. And it's still standing. Not being used anymore. There was a plan to, to, to revamp it uh, back in the back in the mid 2000 teens early 2000 teens somewhere in there but the air conditioning unit uh, units had to be replaced and it was going to cost too much so the city abandoned that that uh, thing they were going to turn it into like a indoor shopping experience uh, when it first opened the uh, the attendees uh, your hot dogs attendants the the usher stuff like that they all wore space outfits thought that was pretty neat jingle Well, somebody had a wreck up here. It said major accident. In the right hand lane, that's why I'm over here. And apparently people didn't see the sign back there that said uh, major accident in the right hand lane. Or they didn't read the sign, they didn't care to read the sign, they didn't whatever. Which leads me to this point. For my new drivers out there, beware of two-wheelers and four-wheelers. And what I mean by that, motorcycles and any other vehicle than a, than a semi-truck. Because those little son of a guns, they are not paying attention to you. And that is the truth. I'll put it this way. When you turn your blinker on, I don't care if you've looked in your mirror six times and there was nothing coming. Once you turn that blinker on, you need to wait. You need to wait, look in your mirrors, because inevitably there's going to be a four-wheeler or a two-wheeler right there next to you. Because they don't care and they don't pay attention. They'll be doing 104 miles an hour down the road. It'll be three or four lanes on your side of the road, and them suckers will be right next to you. No traffic whatsoever anywhere else, but they'll be right next to you. So you turn your blinker on and you wait. And you look in your mirrors about 100 times. That's, that's not true, you know. Give it a couple of glances at least. You know what I mean? That way you know there's nobody beside you. That's just my tip for you.
inevitably them people that are aren't paying any attention man they're not paying attention to you they're probably yelling at their kids or you know talking on the phone or most likely playing on their phone looking at whatever's on Facebook or Insta Insta Twitter or or whatever they're sure not paying any attention to you though and people don't realize how long it takes us to move these vehicles. It takes a minute. People get frustrated and zoom past you, honk at you like, like why didn't you move out of my way? Well. I'm working here that's why that's what's happening I'm working here you know what they got going on there hopefully it wasn't a dead body they got that isolated whatever it is hope that truck driver didn't hit nobody Hmm, that's rough. Let's go! We are here. It's uh, 3.30. And it looks like there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six trucks already here. Bummer. Well... We'll get up here and get uh, checked in. And get ready to receive the freight. And get down the road, baby. Let's get loaded. Okay, so we got to go this way and get checked in. And scaled in apparently. Oh, it's a little warm out there, man. Get lightheaded. Oh. So, how's your day going? Leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. Ouch. Holy crap. Uh, I guess wherever that truck's going, that's the scale. Cool. Yeah, at least they got it kind of laid out. I have not been to this place before. So we'll get over here, it looks like. But it does look like they're doing uh, palleted coils. That's what this Jordan driver up here has got on it. Bouncy, bouncy. I guess not Jordan. What is that? Buddy Moore Trucking. Birmingham, Alabama. waiting on the scales all right time to wait all right well, we're uh, still in line 
There's one truck in there getting loaded, and then I should be next. Oh, because they're already working into my into my drive time. Right now, I got four hours, 21 minutes on my clock. Um, man, I took my phone apart a while ago, and uh, well, I took the the case out from around my phone and was gonna clean it because it gets dusty in there and all that good stuff. And apparently, I dropped my phone at some point and cracked the black the uh, back glass on on my phone I didn't know it I don't ever take my case off only when it gets dirty but uh, yeah oh and there was a comment uh, uh, left about uh, my super trucker Dave or super trucker Dan or apparently there is a YouTube channel out there that is called super trucker Dan now I'm not saying everybody's everybody's the same way out here you have good people you have bad people you have courteous people you have you know people that are not so courteous but uh i'm just saying don't be that that person that we all know we don't like that's what i'm saying i should be next going in here uh once i get it all loaded up and we get to the other side and get some securement done Oh, we're done for the day man <sighs> hope I got a shower in there I need a shower I'm gonna go find out you guys I appreciate you being here and watching um, I really do uh, you guys make this happen and if you if y'all didn't show up I wouldn't do it every day but uh, uh, if you've not hit that subscribe button go down there and hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment down there say hi how you doing I'll see you tomorrow.